Okay, do you want to know your date has good credit before you even meet? Yeah. <laughs> well, you must have a minimum score of at least 675, I don't even know what that means right now, <laughs> to use one dating app aiming to raise awareness about the importance of finances in relationship. Yeah. Do we like this idea? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Jillian in our ear, she's our director downstairs, she's like, that score seems a little low. Um, I, I don't want to brag, but my score is 850. Oh. So, Excuse if me. If you want to hit my standard, it's 850 or higher to date me. <laughs> and that me, I don't even know what the top score is. Someone Google it. But anyway, no, I, you know why I like this idea? Because money is such a huge stressor mm -hmm. in most relationships, right? It's, and it's not even about how much money, it's money mismanagement. And so what I love about this is the credit score is not saying you're rich, you're poor. It's saying with whatever you've got, you're managing it well. Mm. And I think if you can get that out of the way in a relationship, I think that's great. You know, that's why millionaires who win lotteries, mm -hmm. you know they're broke within two years. Yeah, seven. It's, it's not about, oh, you won $10 million. Yeah, but if you squandered it on every Lamborghini you saw, mm. then you're going to be poor. So mm. I think that the idea of getting that off the table and knowing I can manage my money, you can manage your money, we're not going to get into one of the major stressors that mm -hmm. break people up. So mm -hmm. I'm in. I'm yeah. in. What about you, Andrew? Are you doing this? You're into it? Uh, I'm not into it uh, because how long does it take? What's the over under on someone faking their credit score, <laughs> meeting someone with subst yeah. substantial wealth yeah. and being catfish? Like two weeks, yeah. right? Yeah. Also, I just, I'm not, I, I, I like, I, I'm not an app person. I met my wife the old fashioned mm -hmm. way at the club. So yes. Challenge. So, yes. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. so what Sorry. happened to going oh. to a club and waiting till Hot and Her played and looking around and you're like, you? Okay, let's go. Yeah. So I just I love love and, and relationships. They don't work like this. You don't you don't take a box off, right? Mm. And every relationship should have someone who has it together and someone who is a hot mess. Like that's what makes it work. Okay. 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 Wait, wait. Well, I want to hear from the single person though. The person who's dating. I shouldn't say like I don't know where you you're don't know at. My situation. I don't know your situation. Your situation. Shit. That's right. Here's the deal. First of all, this is not new. Actually, people were on regular dating apps. They were putting in their pro dating profile like I like to play tennis. I'm an Aquarius, and here's my credit score. But this actually started last year. It's actually a black owned and black founded app. I know. Um, and there's a, this all happened at Afrotech, which is a huge conference that happens every year. And the, they had an event and the question came up, what is the bare minimum that you, a person needs to have with their credit score for you mm. to consider dating them? And then this spawned this whole idea. So the concept is great and I like it to a point, but it misses a lot of other very important things. Cause what it says is this person is really good at doing, making their minimum payments on time, which is great but it doesn't tell me if they have an emergency fund, if they have retirement savings, um, do they have any money in that bank account? <laughs> These... No, you're, this, you're right? getting on another level. Right, and, if, and here's the deal, and if I, okay, say I'm an executive, I'm, I'm on this app and I make $450,000 and I have a great credit score, that's good. And I meet somebody else, but they make $46,000, $46,000 a year, and they have a good credit score. We are still not compatible in a lot of ways. If I want to move forward and buy a house, have children with this I'm going to manage your $400,000 really well. <laughs> yeah, by, by spending it all. So it's a great idea, but it really, there's so many other things. But, you know, as you said, money is a very tricky conversation. Yeah. It's hard, yeah. especially in the honeymoon phase when you guys are making out. Like, how do you go, so, um, what's your credit score? Like, it's such a weird conversation to have. So I understand True. people being attracted to this, but you have so many more other questions you should be asking before you're just yeah. like, oh, oh great credit God. score. Agreed. Agreed. So Are you exhausted? I want to be your wingman. Like, this is so fun. Listen. I just want to sit with you on dates and be like, tell me more about Listen. finances. We will destroy this. That's actually yeah. a great deal. <laughs> That's a good idea. Like to have a wing person be like, can I ask you an awkward question? Because she's not going to ask you. Get in there. Get oh, in there. I'll ask yeah. the awkward yeah. questions. All right. Well, you, I'll ask all of you. But you know what? I, you can be my wingman anytime. I would love to. I'm the funny friend. Give me that. Okay. I'd be totally down. Yeah. You know what I'll do? I'll point him. I'm like, go get that one. Go, go get that one. <laughs> and in 15 minutes, get that other one. That's what we're going to do. Hey there. What did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.